All right, y'all, Mr. Beast dropped a new video today with a very interesting title for us. It's titled, In 10 Minutes, <laughs> This Room Will Explode. I don't know how it's going to explode and you possibly might be in the room. I think he's supposed to be in the room and he didn't, nothing happened to him. It can't be a real explosion. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. It got to be some type of trick, but let's see. Let's get right to this video. It's 10 minutes long. Trick. I just started this 10-minute timer. And when it hits zero, that room all the way over there, full of money will explode. And the only man that can stop... This man finna blow up a room full of money, bro. He just be wasting money. It's this man in this straight jacket. This video is completely real time. You'll notice it's exactly 10 minutes long. There are no cuts. You see everything. And if Darcy does not escape his jacket and get through all five floors of this tower and press that button before the timer hits zero, his money explodes. All right, he's coming down. Okay, this is our first ever real time shoot. I gotta go quick. I gotta go quick. Go. He said, let me get out the way. Shit finna start explode. And this is our first ever real time shoot. Let me get out of the way. Oh, hey, hurry, unhatch it. Wait, how did he get out of that jacket so fast? It doesn't matter. This next floor is twice as hard to escape. Oh, All right, lower, lower, lower. Holy. You put a fire in there? Bro, just drop down to a room full of fire. What the hell? What type of traps is Mr. B set up? Is he trying to get somebody killed? What is this? Okay, so to get out of the metal cage, you need to use the lock pick on the floor. Hurry up! Faster! Darcy! Come on! Oh my gosh! Come on! Even with a tool, picking a lock takes some fidgeting. He has to perfectly align all three pins inside the lock in order to break free. By the way, in order to prove this video is 100% real time, starting now, you're going to see an unbroken shot of Darcy in the corner of the full video. And as of now, a minute has gone by and he's still in the first room. And remember, he still needs to get through all five floors of this tower and press the button in time. The button's right here! To gain his quarter of a million dollars from exploding man. I'm getting so much anxiety! Please go back! Wait, Max, he's breaking the lock. Is he, is he making good time or not? All right, so now, yeah, but he's about to go down to an even more difficult room. Be careful. Don't catch up fire. Darcy, go. Come on, what are you doing, bro? Go. He's coming down the road. He's in the glue room now. Welcome to floor number four. <sighs> Come on. He's already made it through room four. This is floor number four. What okay, so this entire floor is now covered in glue. He has to choose between monkey bars or walking across the glue. And I would very much advise he does not walk across the glue. So far, so good on the monkey bars. Keep going, buddy. Come on! Come on, Darcy! Let's do it! Uh, Two minutes has gone by! Uh, What's going on in your head, man? Oh, no. What do I do? Why are you spinning? Stop spinning! If he falls, that is not good because that is the stickiest glue in the world. I'm not even joking, he'll lose his shoes. Okay. It's already been two minutes! Dude, he's swinging. He didn't touch the ground once. He had his glue. He's making my hands like I feel it for him. Like I feel it. But he made it to the exit. Oh, oh yeah. He's about to lift up that lid. And now he's about to enter the craziest room. Keep taking us down. What is Watch this. You're going to see him jump down. Oh, my God, boys. I'm so tired. All right, Darcy's struggling, but he's making his way down the room to floor three, the boulder room. And this one should be relatively simple. Oh, yeah. All right, Darcy. See that giant boulder? Yes. Well, these two ropes are the only thing preventing it from barreling down this ramp. Darcy, there's a machete. You need it to get out of this room. Yes. Yeah, you're losing time. What do you think you do with the knife? Can I cut these ropes? Cut that rope. You're running out of time. <laughs> Normally in our videos, when someone does something this slow, like we cut it out, but this is live. We literally can't cut it out. I am freaking out. Seven minutes remain, and he's almost done with one of two ropes. So like some... Why would he cut it? Why would he cut the rope? in front of the ball when it's going to roll down he should have cut it from the up top part on the behind on the side of the the the, the ball not right in everybody ain't got common sense do they y'all every it really shows like that's what i'll be talking about that's why i don't even everybody ain't got common sense why would you cut it this way James Bond stuff right here. As he goes lower, the floors are going to get harder and take longer. He's actually not making as good pace as you would want him to make. That rope is going to take him the longest because of how thick it is. Oh. Cut the rope! He's wasting a lot of time on this. Dude, he's behind her now. This knife is so dull. You're going to have to hurry. Under seven minutes remain before your $250,000 explodes. Jimmy, I'm going to die from old 
stage before he finishes cutting this rope. When he cuts that second rope, it's something crazy going to happen. And Darcy, what do you think is going to happen when he cuts that rope? All right, I guess Darcy's locked in. Bro, move out the way from the ball for when it happens to fall. To Jimmy, what is going to happen when he cuts the rope? Oh, this boulder's going to go. It's through the window. Tell me, please. All you need to do yes. is hold on to that when he cuts the rope. Okay, that's, that's, I can handle that. There's no way I'm losing this 250 grand because of this stupid rope. Jimmy, why'd you find the smallest man possible at cutting a rope? Darcy, hurry up. Like I told you at the start, this is real time. You're seeing everything. Obviously, Darcy is pretty occupied right now. But if he could talk to us, he'd probably tell us about the fact that he is a world-class escape artist. And apparently, that doesn't translate over to cutting the rope. Darcy, you spent a whole minute on this. You only have six minutes left. Oh, man. Cut faster. Come on. Bro, you have got to cut the rope a lot faster. He world-class, but he ain't got common sense. My, my gosh! Oh, he's about to finish the last rope. Darcy, push the boulder down the ramp. So the boulder's just gonna... Uh, you'll see in a bit. Okay, he's pushing the boulder now. Brace yourself. What the heck up? Oh, you go. What? Darcy, quick. I want you to grab the rope from the ceiling and attach it to your pants. And please make sure it is 100% connected, okay? All right. Yeah. What is he gonna do? Okay, Darcy, now step down, go to the edge, and turn around. Right. Watch this. Watch what? Go to the green arrow, go to your right. Here we go. Oh my god, this is about to jump. Bro. Go to your right, go to your right. Yeah. What is he gonna do? Yeah. What is he doing? Uh, he's about to jump. All right, Darcy, now you need to jump. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? Go, Darcy! Darcy, jump! What the th okay, he is exactly five minutes left. Stop the grade! Stop the grade! Stop the grade! Stop the grade! <laughs> All right, I don't know. The great operator draw. You're gonna make it through the lasers. This floor is by far the hardest yet. Not only does he need to make it through this laser maze, but if he accidentally touches a laser, his money will instantly explode. How am I gonna do this? There's so many lasers. While he's doing this laser room, I'm gonna tell you guys about T-Mobile, my new wireless partner. Through here. Mac, what? You probably know T-Mobile from this coverage map. Yes, I do, I do yeah. know that. But here's the thing. Okay, you know, great coverage is to be expected. Okay. But what T-Mobile has, that other carriers Jimmy, don't. Look, look, he's halfway through the lasers. Oh, he's on our side. Uh, but what makes T-Mobile special is they have something called magenta status. Okay, okay. What, what is magenta status? It's where they treat you like a VIP. Okay. And by just by using T-Mobile, you can get uh, reduced costs at hotel rooms. Okay. You can get free and fly Wi-Fi, access to VIP lounge. Go, go, go! T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile, I'm stressing out, I'm sorry about the getting lines, and a bunch of other stuff, and the best part is, Max, right there, Jimmy. Yes. Hey, let me finish the T-Mobile app. Okay. And the best part is, it's all, day jumping in the water, it's all available day one when you switch to T-Mobile, so if you're not currently using T-Mobile, start using now, you can get all these perks literally today. Let me catch my breath here. Check it out for yourself, go to T-Mobile.com slash. Oh, he's in the water. Oh, oh my God. All right, this is it, the last level. He now has to open the four valves in each corner of the room, allowing all the water to drain. Then he can escape out the front door and hit the button to save his money from blowing up. You gotta turn these! Turn these! Knees. Turn! Turn the knob! What's he doing? I actually don't help him. Well, let's see if he's smart enough to win the money. <sighs> will he be able to hold his breath long enough to unscrew all four valves? Or will he run out of time? Water, come in. While this guy is doing this intense challenge, I want to tell you about the greatest tasting chocolate on the planet, Feastables. Matt! What do you think of Feastables? Oh, it's my favorite. Back. Oh, no, he's going to the one he finished. Hey, hey! No, no, hey, do the other one! Do the other one! You gotta keep going! There's four! How much time is left? Oh, three minutes! Oh! Oh! Yeah, he actually kind of just wasted like 30 seconds. He can do this if he just hurries up. <sighs> Come on, catch your breath. Let's go. Mac, he's about to go under. Go around the side. See if it opens. He didn't do it yet. He didn't do it yet. I keep turning. Oh, he did it. Other side. Other side. Oh, my God. Two to go, baby. All right, he's now making his way to the other side. You got to go swim. Real quick, before this ends, y'all think he going to win his money? Hopefully, hopefully my boy win this money. Oh my god, this is coming down to the wire. I cannot imagine how absolutely exhausted he must be. Oh. All right, so he has two minutes and 10 seconds to, right over here, press that red button or his money will explode. It's coming down to the wire. You got it, you got it. 
don't know what to do. Normally we do cuts and edits, but this is like real time. Everything I'm saying is making it. Oh, he's got less than two minutes. Hey, less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. He's getting close. He's getting close. He got it. He just did it. He got all four. He did it. All right, the yeah. final door. A minute and 50 seconds. All right, what now? I know. He has to open this door and run and press the button. How much time is he at? Just under two minutes. How is he going to pull this off? I don't get it. You're going to get wet if you stand there. You might want to back up. What? Open it! Oh, there is so much more water that still needs to drink. All right, Matt, hey. Go faster. Matt, in case he fails, uh, that bomb will blow up. So I need you to just, like, where hide behind go? the sandbags over there if he messes up, okay? Okay. Just trust me. You have to unscrew all the lashes. Get him out of there. Come on. Almost a minute. Come on. Come on. Bro. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna make it at this point. The door is stuck because there's too much water pressure. He needs to wait for it to drain more. Wait, Jimmy, the water's starting to come out the front door. Turn it, turn it, turn it, pull it. Pull it. You gotta go, buddy. You have got to go. He's stuck in that one. He can't get it. Something's wrong. Bro, this is it. He's gonna fail. He can't figure out how to open the door. Oh, he literally have 45 seconds to hit this button. It's stuck. Bro, he can't get his latches off to save his life! Bro, what is he doing? Come on! Come on! God. 30 seconds, come on! Come on, that's right to that corner! Hit the button! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go! Come on! 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 With 19 seconds left. He goaded. What? He just won $250,000. Seconds left. We cleared the money out of the way of the bomb and asked what he was going to spend it on. I'm having a baby tomorrow. Who, what? And then we. They said he having a baby tomorrow, so all that is going to his baby mama. I'm so glad I ain't got no baby mama. Oh my God. That's a lucky woman. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of this video. Comment down below what else y'all want to see me check out next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not.